Okay, so today I'm going to talk about how to set up for sideline position body work with a pregnant mom. And the first thing you have to be aware of is what's the height of your table. Um, because if you normally have your table lower for supine and prone positioning, you're going to be really uncomfortable trying to work in the sideline position. You're going to be down here. So what I do, the way I measure, is I put my hands straight down at my side and I extend my hands up. And then I make the table height fit right under my hands. So this table right now is the right height for me. Now sometimes I like to vary the height a little bit because maybe I'm going to be working more on the upside, on the hips and the shoulder area. And so I might like the table to be a little lower or a little higher in order to access. If I'm doing a lot on the back and spine area, then I want the table up higher so I don't have to squat so much. So that's step number one, is setting up the proper height. The next step is to make sure you have the pillows and other accoutrements that you need for your session. So one is pillows, one is large size sheets. You need to have at least a double size sheet. Makes it much more easy to work with all the pillows that you're going to be using. And you also want to have a step stool, especially if your table ends up being really high. I'm short. A taller person will need the step stool in order to do body work and also to help their, your client get on the table. Okay, so I, for pillows, I want to have a head pillow. And I'm going to get my other pillows here. I want to have a nice, sturdy, firm uh, bolster. This has a fancy pillowcase on it. Um, that I'm going to put under the fitted sheet. So I'm going to get that on the sheet here, I mean on the table, and position it up higher than I think uh, seems, seems reasonable for a leg, but I do want it past the midline of the table. And then I know I'm going to need that much, and I know I'm probably going to need a second pillow here as well. Now, if you have a nice, sturdy, large rectangular bolster, that'll work perfectly here. We're showing you right now with just pillows. Okay, so those are the first steps. The next step is that the client actually has to get on the table at this point, and then you'll be making adjustments. So we'll show you with our lovely pregnant client on the table. So Carly has volunteered to come help us today and be a wonderful model. She's 27 weeks pregnant with your first baby. Yep. Right? That's great. Thanks so much for being here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about positioning, comfortable positioning for pregnancy. And just take a look at her right now. Her, her knee is on a pillow, her top leg is on a pillow on her side, and her arm is over her breasts and her belly a little bit. And she's angled across the table. She got on the table and this is the position she's in. I want to make her as comfortable as possible. So what I'm going to do is start to rearrange things now that I've come in the room. Of course, she would be draped if she was on your massage table, but I want you to see what we're doing. So right now she's undraped, and so you can see exactly what, where I'm going to start out. Now the first thing I'm going to do is come around and look at how she's positioned herself on the head pillow. And what you can see is that her shoulder is on top of this pillow. And what that's going to do is create a scrunching up of her neck and her whole brachial plexus and shoulder area. I want to get this pillow out from underneath. So Carly, I'm just going to scoot that under so that it's really filling up under the crook of her neck. We want this nicely supported so that there's no gap between her neck and the table and that's nice and supported there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is have her move towards the working edge of the table. Right now I have to lean over to work on her and that's going to be straining on my body, on my back. So Carly, what I'm going to have you do is in just a moment come back till you feel my arms. I'm going to take my fists like this. I'm going to put them right on the edge of the table. So there's going to be about this much distance between the edge of the table and where her body is going to end up. So Carly, I'm putting my arms here. You scoot your bottom and your shoulders back till you feel my arms. Great. Okay, now we have a good couple, two, three inches available on this side of the table where I'm going to be doing most of my work, and her spine is aligned with the table. So that's what I want. I'm making sure, for sure, this pillow is out from under her shoulder. 
And now I'm going to come around to the other side. Now I know I'm going to need another pillow for her leg because what I would like to have happen is that her hip, her trochanter here, and her knee are parallel with the table. Right now they're at an angle and so her hip rotators are in a stretch position, which is fine if that's what I want her to do and I'm going to work that way. But for now, I want her even. So I'm going to have her, she's lifting up her leg for me. I never come in and lift like this, lift her leg up. Her leg's too heavy. She can lift it herself. So the other thing I'm going to look at right here is that her knees right at the top edge of these pillows. And so what's going to happen very soon as we start working, the weight of her leg is going to start to rotate her down. And you can see that her foot is going to end up higher than her knee. And again, her knee will end up being lower than her trochanter. So what I need to do is move the pillows up. So if you lift your knee for me a little bit, I'm just going to scoop them up and lift again. And I'm going to scoop that up. Good. Now we can see if I press on her knee, she doesn't really go anywhere. And there's a better angle between the trochanter and her knee here, almost horizontal. I don't think she needs another pillow under there, so that's great. But you notice that with these shorter pillows, these are your standard size pillows. I really recommend king or queen size pillows because um, they'll, they'll fit the legs better. But since we have standard pillows right now, she's got a little bit of a um, foot drop here. So in order to take care of that, we're going to put something underneath. And right here is a sample of making do with what you have in the moment. Hopefully you will get adjusted to what pillows work, and then you'll have a set of pillows that work well for you. But if you're just starting out and you don't know what works well yet, you can make adaptations like this. So this supports her foot so it's not hanging down quite so much. All right, now. What else I want to think about, Carly's only 27 weeks pregnant. She doesn't have a really big belly right now. She has a wonderful, wonderful compact belly with her baby. But anybody who's her size or bigger, we want to support under the belly as well. If a, with a larger belly, all that weight of the baby and the placenta goes falling down towards the table with gravity, and what that's going to do is create some strain in the uterine broad ligament that comes up into the iliacus area, as well as might tug some on the uterosacral ligament, which, was, which connects to the anterior side of the sacrum. So with her, I would ask, do you want a little um, support under your belly? Sure. You want to try that? Yeah. Okay, we'll see how that works. So I'm, if she's draped, which she would be, I will just give her this. Uh, some kind of little roll, a little towel, a little cushion, a little foam. She can put it under the sheet, under her belly, and then decide, is that comfortable? Yeah, it's you way like better. Oh, way better. Good. So what do, what difference does that make for you? It, it helps me breathe better, actually. Uh -huh. Oh, and good. Yeah, it just lifts everything up. I, I didn't notice until I put that under there, so uh -huh. it feels better. Thank oh, you. great. So she just made a really good point. A lot of times women feel really comfortable when they lay down. But after a while, they might not be as comfortable as they were in the beginning unless you get them set up perfectly to start with. And also, if you give her some options, she'll realize, oh, I can be more comfortable than I was before. Now, lastly, her arm is hanging here over her breast and compressing on her breast tissue. It might be, might be uncomfortable, and it also creates some compression in her shoulder area. So I want to open that up as well and give her a pillow for her arm. So, Carly... And she take that pillow there and see how that feels. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. yeah. You're ready to go to sleep now? Uh-huh. <laughs>